A UART can be simplistically thought of as a shift register. So on the transmitter side, a byte is loaded into the register in parallel and then a bit shifted out serially across the transmit line. And on the receiver side, so this is a, sorry, that's a parallel in serial out register. And on the receiver side, the received bits are shifted in serially and then can be read out in parallel. So we'll have a sense we've got. So they send um, one byte at a time, so each packet is a sense of a byte. So we'll have our eight uh, bit register on either side. So this will be the transmitter and the receiver. So we can load in, you know, these eight values in parallel. So to say we say one zero one 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 zero, for example. So that will be, um, you know, they're shifted eight serially, and then they'll shift in in serial on the receive side and then it can be then read out in parallel. So the, the UR transmit line idles high. So basically when it's not doing anything, the transmit line will be a one or 3.3 volts. And then we send data as a series of what we call frames. So this frame consists of a start bit, the data bits, which is sent least, least significant bit first. A parity bit, which is zero or one, depending if an even or odd number of ones are in the data packet. And then a stop bit, which is a one. So we've got our eight, um, so we'll have our eight data bits, sort of that's a D7 to D0. Then we've got a start bit, that's a zero. Then a parity bit, and then the stop bit, which is a one. So there's different formats of these frames, and the most common format for the UR is 8N1. So you'll often see these settings on your PC or other serial software. So that means there's eight data bits, no parity bit, and one stop bit. But it does, there's always a start bit as well, so there's always a zero. Um, sent first this start bit. So when we send in data, um, you know we send it using what we call ASCII, because you know the the standard data frame is eight bits, so one byte um, can be sent in any kind of one data transaction, if you will. So with these eight bits, it means that you know in the unsigned decimal values we can send zero to two five five. But we know, for example, when we send in characters, so hello world and other, you know, diff, you know, the best of the symbols that appear on a keyboard, you know, they must be encoded into a number. So we can send, we can basically send the binary value zero to two five five across this link. So we need to encode different characters and numbers into these um, into these binary values. So ASCII is the most commonly used standard we'll come across. So the American standard code for information interchange. So there's actually, in this there's actually 128 characters, which includes some control codes, and these are encoded into seven bit values. So, you know, with 128, we're gonna need seven bits. But we'll still send eight bits, but you know, the other bit would obviously just be zero. So the ASCII, um, you know, the Hex values for these are shown in the table, so the column number is the least significant nibble. So, for example, if you want to send um, uppercase A, so that's that's represented by zero x four one. So in the, you know, this column here, this column. So this is just a way of writing out the table. And then, for example, lowercase h, that'll be um zero x six nine. So this tells us the um the hex values for the different characters. So you can see we've got upper well the colours show we've got upper uppercase letters, the yellows are lowercase letters, we've got our uh, digits as well, 
and we've got various punctuation symbols and so on and then these are the uh, control chords at the beginning so the character turns like a new line and so on space so when you send when you send a character it's that you know that that's a binary pattern what is sent over the serial link is given in this table here so from the example we can see that a has a value 41 just so so a 0x41 so if you convert 41 to binary we can just do a nibble at a time say 41 so that's the value um, that's going to be sent, but it is sent, remember LSB first. So you always send the lowest significant bit first. So the what you know when you transmit an A, this is what will get sent. So the line idles high, remember, so the, the line will be a one, so this is time along this axis. So the line idles high. So we'll send the start bit, so that's a zero. When we look at this binary pattern here, so we can see the first lowest significant bit is 1. That's in 1. And working backwards, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then we get to this one here, 1. The most significant bit is this 0. Then we send the stop bit as well. So this stop bit is a 1. And then, because we're not sending, you know, in this example, we're not sending anything else after this. So the line will go back to idling high. Or if we're sending another byte, you know that 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 could just be the start bit of the next uh, data packet. So it's very easy to get the waveform. You just get the get the ASCII value of the character you send in, convert to binary, so to draw it out backwards, add it in the start and the stop bit. So ASCII characters are eight-bit unsigned integers. So when we're using the ARM um, compiler, so that when we're writing C code or C++, a chur is an unsigned byte. So that means an ASCII character can be stored in a chur variable and we can either enter it in numeric or character form. So there's different ways of um, entering the same, essentially the same value. So here I've got four different examples, all essentially doing the same thing. So here I can do the hex value, so I put so doing chur c equals um, 0x48. So the 0x part specifies an hexadecimal. And also looking at the ASCII table, that corresponds to capital H. So we can also type that in, but you need to be very careful to use single quotes for this. So when we've done strings like hello world and so on, we've used double quotes, but when you're doing um, a character, like a single character, we use single quotes. You know, that's also um, 0x48, you can also write it directly in decimal. So we've seen C++, you know, any number is kind of decimal by default, if you will. And then we can put 0b in front and then specify um, the binary bit pattern as well. So th these four diff you know, these four lines all do the same thing and then the value for that capital H will be stored in this variable C.